I found this cool challenge on the internet. It's called the best friend challenge. You basically ask each other questions and try to figure out who knows each other the best. Ooh, sounds fun. We should totally do it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go grab my phone and we can record it. All right, sounds fun. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> All right, um, so on here it says the first question is, what is your best friend's favorite hobby? Um, you like shopping. Uh-huh. And you love shopping too. Oh, yeah, I totally, yeah, totally. That's, yeah, that's my favorite one. Uh-huh. What is your best friend's life goal? I know you want to be a celebrity when you get older. Oh yeah, you know me so well, girlfriend. And you want to be a celebrity as well. Uh-huh. How about your best friend's habit? Habit? What do you mean by habit? I know that you secretly love eating Pop-Tarts in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, who told you that? I know you do. Don't act like you don't. You're so hilarious. You're so hilarious. Ah, stop it! 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 Stop That was so much fun. Yeah, it totally was a ton of fun. What should we do now? Let's do manicures. Okay. Let's go back, 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 back. Hello everyone, and hello Vicky. Love your dress. Matchies, matchies. Oh, you know it, girl. You both look totes fab today, by the way. Just wanted to tell you that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> this is my new favorite ensemble. I just went shopping. I'm glad you like it. Dylan, I can't wait for your game this weekend. We're all going. Yeah. Well, that's great. I can't wait for you guys to come. I have a feeling we're gonna win this season. Oh my gosh, did you see Tiffany's ensemble today? Uh, like she needs a new wardrobe really badly. Who dresses like that these days? Come on, Caitlin, let's go. Coming. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, be right back. Okay. Uh, um, excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? Oh, uh, sorry, I don't mean to bother you. Uh, I was just wondering if I could get to my locker. Oh, yeah, sorry, here. Thanks. Hmm. So, 
What's your name? Uh, you're, you're talking to me? I'm Caitlin. You probably already know that because I'm so popular and all that jazz. My name's Brooke. I made it awkward. I'm socially awkward, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I, I, I can be really weird, especially around people that I want to be friends with. Excuse me? You think we're gonna be friends? We have nothing in common. Just let me tell you that. I'll just tell you what I like. Um, I like video games, cartoons, and art, basically. You like art? Yeah, I do. Do you like it too? Uh, no. <laughs> I do not like video games, art, and cartoons, or whatever you call them, because, you know, I watch things that are popular, like Gilmore Girls, Stranger Things, Grey's Anatomy, duh. I watch the trendy shows. What baby cartoons do you watch? My favorite cartoons are... Uh, let's see, I like Teen Titans, or Justice League, and let's see, what else do I like? Oh, I like anime. Anime's really cool. Listen, miss, I have no idea why you're talking to me, and I don't even know who you are, but, yeah, I don't talk to people that aren't in my, um, stage of popularity -ness and stuff like that because I'm popular. Well, if you ever want to hang out or watch cartoons or play video games or draw or whatever, because those are my favorite things to do and I'd love to hear what you like to do too. Um, I'm kind of looking for some friends because I don't have any friends right now and I was just wondering if you wanted to be friends. And so yeah, if you ever want to talk to me, this is my locker. I come here every day. I don't have anybody to talk to. So yeah, um, see you later. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Okay, I'm back. Who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. I would never talk to someone like that. She just came to me. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's. Glad you invited me over. Yeah, totally. I love your room. It's so cute and simple. <laughs> and I certainly love your bow collection over here. Yeah, it's a working progress. Oops, I left my sleepover bag in the car. Let me go get it real quick. Okay, I'll just put it right here. <laughs> Is something wrong, Caitlin? No, nothing's wrong. Uh, nothing at all. My mom just uh, said that there's going to be lunch soon, or if we want to grab a snack, we can, so we can go downstairs and do that. Oh yeah, totally, I'm starving. <sighs> you coming? Oh, yeah, totally. Totally, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Bonashi, for letting me stay the night. 
Oh, of course, darling. You're always welcome, Dover. All right, Kaylin. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Bye, Kiki. I'll miss you. Me too. Hugs. Later. <sighs> Here we go again. Be right back. Brooke, right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's right. You remembered. Yeah, um... Hey, raccoon, beat it! Jeez, you don't have to be so rude about it. Ugh. I was wondering if you wanted to get together sometime. Oh, really now? You want to get together sometime? I thought you didn't want to talk to little commoners like me. Afraid it would ruin your popularity status. Uh, no, uh, no, I only want to talk to you because, um, someone told me that you're really good at homework, so, yeah, I thought we would do homework and stuff, duh, but yeah, DM me on Instagram and yeah, we can get together sometime. Oh, really? That sounds amazing. Yeah, I'll totally DM you. I'm available this weekend. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. We can totally do that. Great, I'm excited. Oh, gotta go, bye. Were you talking to that person again? She looks ridiculous, like really ridiculous. Um, she's actually quite nice. And yeah, I think I made a new friend. Really? That's great! <sighs> anyway, yeah, I don't see how you girls have anything in common because, you know, um, she isn't popular, you're popular, you like pretty things, she doesn't like pretty things. Well, you don't know. Maybe she does like pretty things. I don't know. Well, she's my new friend now. Her name is Brooke. So yeah, get over it. Let's go. Excuse me? Ugh, she thinks she can just push me around. So, this is my room. Wow. This is amazing. You have so many action figures. <gasps> are those comics? Yeah, and some of them I even made myself. You make your own comics? Yeah, it's really fun. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Can we make one together? Really? You'd want to make a comic book together? Yeah, it sounds so fun. Then yeah, totally. We can, yeah, I'll get supplies right now. I love all your toys. They're all so pretty and cute. Do you play with them? Occasionally, yeah. Are you gonna make fun of me? Oh no, of course not. I still play with toys too. Really? Yeah. Maybe after we make our comics we could, I don't know, play with some toys? Yeah, that sounds so much fun. Let's do it. Yay! Hey again. Where's Kiana? I'm surprised you're not with her. Eh, I wanted to come say hi. Um, I just want to say I had a really great time hanging out over the weekend. And I'd love to do it again sometime. 
but you cannot tell anyone that I like art, comics, and, and anime, and cartoons, and stuff, because it'll ruin my reputation, okay? So, um, yeah, just a rule of friendship. Oh, sure, that's what friends do. This Saturday again? Yeah, totally. Maybe you can stay the night. Sure, I'll ask my mom and see if she's okay with it. Okay, Lynn. Oh, that's Kiana. I better get going. Bye. Bye. Well, according to the new manga, she has an evil side, which is kind of crazy because they never talk about it in the anime. I wonder if they're going to introduce it in the second season. That would be so cool. I can't imagine her actually being evil all this time, too. I know, right? It's crazy to think that. What in the world are they talking about? I've never seen this side of Caitlyn before. And we've known each other for six years. Has she been lying to me? I gotta figure out what's going on. Hey ladies! How would y'all like to go to the mall with me after school? Oh yeah, totally, I would love to go. Sure, I love the mall. And hanging out with my best buds. Totally, I'll see you there. Guess what I got us tickets for? What, tell me. San Diego Comic Con! No way! It's like impossible to get tickets to that thing. I know! Which is why we're going! And it's gonna be so fun. We'll make a total adventure out of it. Yes! And we should cosplay. We should totally cosplay. And yeah, I should probably save up money now to buy some awesome merchandise. Which means, huh, no more getting pretty bows and stuff for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one day she likes going to the mall, and one day she likes cosplaying, or whatever that is, to a convention. She's lying to me. This is not the Caitlyn I know. That, that girl is brainwashing my friend. Ugh. Caitlyn! Huh? I need to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, what about? Girlfriend, <laughs> what's up? I know you've been hiding things from me. That Brooke girl is brainwashing you. She's making you think things you've never thought before. Thinking you like art and comics and anime. That's all ridiculous. Tell me it's a lie because that's not who you really are. At least that's not the Caitlyn I've known for six years. I don't know what you're talking about. This is me. I love pink, I love fashion, I love shopping, and I love being your friend. I would never lie to you, I swear. Brooke likes all those things too. I'm not sure what to think of this right now. I forgive you. I just, I don't know how I feel right now. I just hope I can still trust you. I'll see you later. I'm sorry, I made this worse. No, 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 you did, you didn't, it's fine. We're still friends, don't worry. Thanks, totally. I'm sorry too. I promise, I haven't been lying. I'm still your best friend, and I always will be. Well, I'll see you this weekend, or tomorrow, cause you know, it's Friday. Ah, <sighs> school. <sighs> Good to be home. You said it, girlfriend. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get some food. If you want anything, let me know. 
time to pick up where I left off in the story. Now, Abby was about to go shopping, and they were about to go on a plane adventure. Alright, I think I'm ready to kick off this amazing vacation with a good start, and everyone's going to have a great time, and especially in Mr. Octoling's private airplane. It's going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Me too. I'm so excited. Knock, knock. Huh? I brought you a gift? Kiki? Uh, you remodeled your room. Uh, you're not supposed to see my room like this. You're not, you're not supposed to see me like this. Get out of my room! What are you doing? I... I... Uh, you're gonna think I'm a baby! Wait! I play with toys! But you don't have any toys! For the last six years I've known you, you've never had any of this! What are you saying? Have you been lying to me all this time? I like art, as you can see on my walls, comic books, action figures, everything. Caitlin, what's going on? You've been acting different lately, and I don't like it. You're not supposed to see any of this. You act one way around me, and then when you're around Brooke, you act a different way, and... Uh, I'm beginning to wonder who which side is the real you. I don't know anymore. Hold on a minute. She lied to me. Her room is completely different. Does she always change it just for me? What's going on here? What's this? Mom? What's Kiana doing here? She just came over saying she had something for you. Is something wrong, dear? Yes, Mom! I didn't have enough time to change my room around, and now she knows that I play with toys, and likes comic books, and does art, and everything, and now all my secrets are spoiled, and now she's not going to be my friend anymore. This is all messed up. I don't know what to do. Caitlin, what's going on? Have you been keeping secrets from your best friend? Oh, Mom, my life is over. Huh? That's not the friend I know. Kiki, I can explain. Oh yeah, I'd really love to hear everything you have to say. Especially about the things you've written about me, my friends, our school, and everybody inside this diary. I don't know who you are anymore. You've been keeping secrets from me. You've been lying to me all this time. All these six years we've been friends, it's all a lie! Just so you can be popular? That's not what true friendship is, Caitlin. True friendship is accepting each other the way we are. And just... Not just using each other for popularity rank! I did have this present for you, but I don't think I want to give it to you anymore. Get rid of it! True friends? Don't go behind each other's backs and be somebody completely different. Now that I know that you've been faking your real self this whole time, ever since we became friends, and every time you hang around us popular kids, it wasn't nice of you to say those things behind my back. To totally just change who you are just to be friends with me. And now I know that you've been using me to be popular. I don't want to be your friend anymore. So get out of my life! <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs>
friendship necklaces. Kiana! Caitlin? Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? And I thought being myself would make things worse and I would lose friendships. But it turns out me lying about myself made all my friendships go away. I'm so sorry to hear that, darling. Oh, just give you a big hug. Right now, I think the best thing you should do is just get some rest. This is all just very much for you. Brooke is a very sweet girl, and I think she's a great friend for you. Maybe you'd like to hang out with her and get your mind off of this. Yeah, I think I'd like that. Okay, I'm going to give her mom a call. Now, you just stay here. Mwah. Love you. You know, Caitlin, I just wanted to tell you that I think you're a very strong girl. And I think it's important that you should be who you really are around your friends. You love art, uh, watching cartoons, and playing with your toys. Yeah, but if any of my high school friends find out that I like playing with toys, they're all going to hate me, and they're going to ignore me, and they're going to think I'm a child. No one says that you can't play with toys when you're 14. You can be whoever you want to be. Don't let anybody judge you, even Kiana. Now that Kiana knows, I bet she's going to blab her mouth to everybody, and then all my friends are gone, and then everyone is going to just laugh at me. No one is going to laugh at you. Maybe in the future, you two can work things out. Meaning, you apologize to Kiana. Apologize to her? She'd never forgive me. Even if she doesn't forgive you, an apology is always important. Ugh. Sometimes I just wish I was as pretty as Caitlyn. I'm an ugly mess. I wish we were still friends. This is all my fault. I ruined everything. I shouldn't have just accepted her like a true friend would. I'm not a true friend. I never was. I dragged her around on a leash. I treated her like trash. I'm not a real friend. She has a passion. She has a really close friend who does like what she does. Caitlin won't want to do what I want to do. What I really want to do is ridiculous. She would never want to make music with me. I never showed her my singing voice. I don't want to, she'd probably think I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm ugly. This is selfish, popular girl. <laughs> no one would want to be friends with the real me. me up. Uh, Kiki? Trouble, uh, 12 o'clock. Come on, Natalie, let's go. I wish you good luck. <sighs> Kiki, please talk to me. Kiki, it's been almost three months since we've talked. Maybe the reason is because I don't want to be your friend anymore. 
You know, I've liked it this way. I don't like talking to you anymore. You've disappointed me. I've lost trust in you. Wait, is that the friendship necklace I gave you? Yes. Huh, thought you would throw that thing away. Thought it was obvious that we're not friends anymore. I didn't get rid of it because I still considered you my friend and I thought that we would talk still. But I guess you don't want to be friends with me anymore. I get it now. I just thought that maybe we could try and be friends again. Cause I still want to be your friend. I realize now that this is all ridiculous. I may have wanted to be your friend just so I could be popular and so that people would like me. I was just afraid that others wouldn't like me because of who I really am. I thought you wouldn't like me and I really wanted to be your friend. And now that I am your friend or was your friend, I realize how nice you can be and how supportive you can be. I just thought changing myself and not revealing who I truly am would solve things. <laughs> but I now realize that it only made things worse. Not that it matters. But I do have this for you. You kept it. I just want to be friends again, Kiana. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. And I'm sorry that I changed myself just so you would like me. But I really do like you as a friend. Oh, Caitlin. I'm so sorry. Caitlin. I guess I haven't been completely honest with you either. When we first met as friends, I was the trashy, popular girl that you expected, and I really did not care about you or my other friends or anybody else. I didn't care. I didn't want friends because I thought I was too good for everybody. The truth is, I didn't think anybody would like me for the real me, so I acted fake. I've built a reputation where people don't like me anymore. And I don't know how, I don't know how to reveal my true self because I feel like everyone would just hate me for who I really am. I'm just too afraid. I'm a hypocrite. When I found out that you were acting a different way just so I would like you to, I got super mad and I didn't want to be your friend anymore when I was acting the same way to you. Real friends, and true friends, they respect each other and they accept each other for who they are no matter what their flaws might be. And that is what friendship is and we're here for each other. I wasn't there for you. You were feeling the same way I was. And I should have been that friend for you that made you feel special and different and happy and instead I just tore you down like you couldn't change at all. That's not a true friend and that's not who I really am. So if anyone really needs to change it's me. I'm so lonely. I feel like nobody gets me but I feel like you get me. After everything and all the terrible things I've said already, you probably hate me now but I would really like to be friends again. I really would. Oh, Kiki, of course. <laughs> Let's make a promise to each other to always be honest with who we are and respect each other and accept each other no matter what. Agreed. I'm so glad we're friends again. Me too. And I would totally love to try your comic books and anime and drawing with you. I would totally love to try that. I've never done it before, but I'd still like to try it because you're my friend. And I would love to do anything you like to do too. Really? Oh, that's great. I'm just glad we're best friends again. 
Me too. You know what? Let's have a sleepover at my house. Okay. Don't leave me here forever Don't